On Friday, the team from the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency continued the detailed disaster sector assessment in regions 2, 5, 6, 7, and 10. Those regions are said to be experiencing level 3 disasters. The exercise by the team is estimated to be completed within a month, after which a damage and loss estimate report will be prepared. Also on Friday, the Civil Defense Commission received $3.7 million in cash and other essential supplies. The Assemblies of God Church, Marks and Company Limited, the University of Guyana and Guyana History of Pictures Old and New, Gaius Spawn, made donations. Director General of the CDC, Lieutenant Colonel Kester Craig, says the donations are welcomed as they are in keeping with its needs list to assist flood-affected residents. First and foremost, try to identify our needs and provide those supplies in keeping with the needs. Uh, it's also very commendable that not only private sector agencies are on board, but it's good to see the churches are coming on board to, to provide needed supplies to the communities that are affected. Additionally, Region 5's Regional Democratic Council distributed supplies to flood-affected persons. As the CDC continues to provide assistance to flood-affected residents countrywide, they have distributed 24,640 cleaning hampers and 30,703 food hampers to date. Additionally, 233 persons are also being housed at shelters in Regions 2, 5, 9, and 10. During the rainy season, residents are advised to continue to construct barriers to keep flood waters from entering their homes, turn off and disconnect appliances. If advised to evacuate, do so immediately. Listen to the radio or television for weather information and alerts. Stay out of moving or still water. Persons are also urged to practice health measures, including ensuring safe water is used for drinking, cooking, washing, and other activities. Sleep under mosquito nets or use repellents. Keep food supplies away from flood waters and wash hands thoroughly.